So I've got more good news for those of you guys that are running Windows on your Steam Deck, or maybe just wanting the Steam Deck UI experience on your gaming PC with Steam with a controller. Because Valve, if you've watched my previous video, released a beta update on their beta client of Steam that allows you to no longer use big picture mode, but to use the Steam Deck UI. Um, on Windows, which is fantastic. Um, and they've released a brand new update that improves the experience even more. Let's get into it and blaze the cave. Please like, subscribe, click the bell icon for more Steam Deck content every single day. Let's go. So guys, if you watched my previous one of my previous videos, I covered the fact that Steam Deck UI is now available on Windows and Steam Client. And here's me basically doing the little changes and updating it to the beta client and getting Steam Deck, the Steam Deck user interface on my Windows gaming PC, which is amazing. Um, and it works just like the Steam Deck UI. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, it was a little bit buggy, especially on oh, some parts like the, the store and stuff like that were for some reason slanted to the right a little bit. Um, but they've just released an update that improves that and has a couple of bug fixes. So let's get into it. So Valve fixes... The new E. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong hour. My bad. <laughs> Valve has improved the new big picture mode for desktop quite a bit in the new beta. Another fresh Steam Deck beta client for desktop has continued, um, has been released, and Valve continue to fix up more issues with the new big picture mode to have it make sense on desktop. Some of the issues are because it was clearly taken directly from the Steam Deck, but now they're getting some proper desktop tweaks in there too. Reminder: to show the new UI, you need to launch Steam with dash gamepad ui as a launch option um now like i says if you want to know how to do this um go watch my previous video um it should be on the channel um i believe it's called i believe it's called steam deck ui is now available on windows um this is the video to pull up if you want to watch it or if you want to see how to do it um but yeah you can run the steam deck ui now on windows on the steam client which makes life a lot nicer if you're running windows on your steam deck is you can now run Windows, have full compatibility with all your games, not just ones that work with Linux and Proton, but have access to all your games and also have the, the crispy, nice-looking Steam Deck UI. Um, so there we go. That's what it looks like. It looks like the Steam Deck, basically. Um, so here's the main changes. So they fixed an issue where uninstalled dialogues were showing up twice. This may still happen after bringing up the controller configurator or standalone keyboard. They've also fixed an issue where exiting a game would bring up the new big picture mode. Um, interesting. Um, fixed a virtual keyboard being scaled incorrectly inside of its window. Okay. Um, and more improvements to reduce login time for users with large libraries. Um, now, the new big picture mode, they've added an ability to exit big picture mode and go back to the regular Steam Desktop client. In this situation, clicking enter big picture mode will enter the big, the new big picture mode. Only happens if you use Gamepad UI. So one of the issues before with this new desktop Steam Deck UI was that um, once you clicked Steam with the, the launcher prompt, you were forced to go into the Steam Deck UI. And you basically had to create a separate shortcut without the launch prompt um, to access the normal Steam interface. Well, now they allow you to basically switch between your regular Steam interface and your Steam Deck Steam Deck UI interface, which is pretty damn awesome. Um, so I'm glad they finally added that and implemented that as a change because that was one of my big, big pain points with this new um, interface for Big Picture. Um, they fixed some... In instances where focus was lost okay we've updated steam controller lb and rb button images all right cool um forced gpu acceleration for the ui cool um and they fixed fixed recently exported controller layout templates not showing up in the layout browser cool they still haven't fixed um so gaming on linux says they still haven't fixed it showing what's behind big picture mode on a kde plasma desktop with nvidia though a bug i find thoroughly odd since the overlay from the quick access menu works just fine that is kind of interesting, a little bit weird, huh? Um, an additional Steam client beta update went out today, November 3rd, with these changes. So they fixed an issue. They also fixed an issue where launching a game would take longer to start if there was no network connection. Interesting. They fixed the overlay not working properly in non-Steam games. Okay. They fixed the scaling issue in the desktop UI. Um when exiting big picture mode. Okay. Fixed issues with some dialogues not showing in the Steam overlay. Um Removed some options in the quick access menu that are not currently supported outside the Steam Deck. So they basically have just like transplanted the Steam Deck UI into the desktop versus the Steam. Um, 
and they're slowly sort of trying to evolve it away and make it it's make it optimized for desktop and windows obviously uh fixed issue where friends list was not accessible after exiting big picture mode um fixed issue where the reorder controllers dialog stopped working from the quick access menu okay and they fixed an issue starting any game with multiple launch options very good that's really good and remote play the controller overlay now respects the use nintendo button layout setting in the new big picture so they've they're bringing over a lot of same lot of the same features from the steam deck version of the ui which is fantastic and like i says guys if you're if you're running windows if you want to dual boot windows and steam os on your steam deck like i says the biggest pain point for me on having windows on the steam deck was the fact that you basically had to navigate that desktop interface all of the time well now now that they've brought the steam deck ui to windows via steam the steam big picture mode you can have the steam deck steam os linux experience or at least the comfortable game like portable game gaming experience with the interface and everything on windows which is fantastic and it makes what makes dual booting windows this, that little bit more enjoyable um so that's great um and the fact that they're updating it on a regular basis now they're updating the steam client the beta steam client on on desktop and replacing big picture mode overall with the steam deck ui it's great great news um and like i says this is what i hoped to be doing from the beginning as soon as they announced that the steam deck would support windows i hoped i hoped and prayed that they would transfer that steam os ui over to their steam client on windows to access you know if you were perhaps running windows on your steam deck um and they've now obviously done it and they're improving it every day which is fantastic and they're bringing over a lot of cool features that were before exclusive to steam os but now are exclusive well now are available on windows so that's great news um sorry it was a little bit of a rambly video but i just wanted to let you know kudos to gaming on linux for keeping it real and keeping us up to date on all the steam deck news with regards to steam os and their steam client um which is fantastic so yeah let me know in the comments down below um are you a dual booter do you are you curious about installing windows on your steam deck let me know down below and obviously what do you think about the changes is it good see you in the next video guys bye